This is one of the premier environments in college baseball. And it's not just pretty to look at and fun to be at, but it has a direct impact in how this team plays. Uh, Brady Tiger getting the start. He was last year's closer coming back from injury. What can we expect from Tiger tonight? Well, they're, they're just hoping a clean first inning, right? Get him through it, get him feeling healthy. Bouncer up the middle off of his calf on the breaking ball. Tiger fires over to retire Haas. Last night, 6'5", 215 pounds to short. Good mm. range, a nice pickup by Bolton. And over at first, Slavin's helped him out. Just tugged that fastball a couple of times at the time. Squad was bothered by injuries earlier. Breaking ball to the right side. Scooped up by Stovall, and that'll do it. It's a 20-pitch inning for Tiger. That'll probably be it for him. Brady Tiger is done after 20 pitches. And that was about the plan for him. Didn't allow a hit and worked his way around a two-out walk. He'll hand it over to Will McIntyre, junior from up the road, and Brian Arkansas. Essentially, it'll be a start for McIntyre. Had plenty of time to warm up. Planned to come in in the second. It's been a struggle for McIntyre to consistently find outs. The one-two to Jace Lavalette is ripped to the right side and past Stovall. Bose will head to third. The throw from Diggs gets all the way over to third, but Lavalette couldn't take advantage of it. Regardless, the Aggies have a junior from Hallettsville, Texas, and he swings at the first. Borfin drifting back. Plenty deep enough to get Bost home. And Texas A&M will strike first and a sack fly from Ryan Targach. Now the 2-2. Same pitch, huh? Gets a throw down to first just to finish it off. Why not? They got the ball rolling here. It's just like kid after kid after kid is saying yes to come into play at a place that is this special. The fan base. Sam going, and they think Detmer may be in too deep with back-to-back -back walks here. First pitch swing, and Brady Slavens rips it to right center. Thompson with a running catch. Callie will advance and move to third. Runners on the corners, and the pitch is lifted high and deep to right center. Thompson deep again. Callie going back. And Arkansas has tied this thing up. They had one run apiece and a couple of fly balls to center field. And ended all that momentum. What a weapon, huh? Swing and a miss on one in the dirt. You know, Roland throws a strike down the line. I think it's, you stick with that game one mentality. Strike three on the breaking ball to the bottom of the zone. Parker Roland will lift back. 0-2, 1,092 slugging. That's pretty good. Great stop to his feet and just wide. He's on for Borfin, both on the same team, by the way, if you weren't aware. And oh. that one beats the ship past the reach of Moss. Headed to third is Stovall. He is on his horse. So is Borfin. Issues with Minnick deep in the corner. Coming around is Stovall. And he scores all the way from first base. And he takes ball four. <laughs> oh. And I'm waving at 86. And Parker Rollins really fired up. Ron Targach had a sack fly last time. Runner on the move. Throw to third is in time. A strike from Parker Rowland, and that half inning. What did JJ have to say? He said he he said it was like wasn't his call, and then last night they they oh Jesus! Wow! Oh baby! Got to put Slavens all the way to third. Uh, has prescription been refilled? <laughs> no. I'm we'll going to run the CVS right now. <laughs> we'll let you run. Thank you. All right, you. see. What's going on with Gregson? I, I, he called time about something that had to do with either a stop ball. 2-1. There it is. Got up the first base line. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, oh, he let touched it. it. And wow. he still didn't get it out. Moss thinks she got the tag on Roland before he hit the bag. And if Oshenbeck lets it, it would have rolled foul. He picks it up, bobbles it. Moss thinks he's going to kill it. And instead, he goes back five, where they should have had a five-yard penalty. To the right side of the mound, Oshabek handles that one. 
And sacrifice advances both runners. By the way, it's head coach Dave Van Horn. He's from Olathe, Kansas. Flag down at first. Race to the bag. And Why? now a toss. Why? And safe. And another run scores as Grimes scrambles home. Jim Schlossnick will have it. All-time answer last night. Here's a fit through the right side. Borfin's got a, another hit to his name. Second of the night. I need to go back. Thompson deep center field and makes the catch. Eight to the plate in the fourth. The shift is on for the Razorbacks. Targotch pulls it that way. Uh -oh. Smothered by Stovall. Uh -oh. Got him. And Slavin's helping him out. Over. Uh oh And this one is touched high and deep to left field. Grimes will run out of space. It is long gone. Into the second row behind the bullpen. Coffer's first home run. That was a no doubter. And the handful of AM fans and family that are in the building tonight finally have something to cheer about. Isn't it some sort of like angry bird? <laughs> Slice down the left field line. It is fair and into the corner. Lavalette over to dig it up. McLaughlin churns to second. And it's a leadoff double for Ben McLaughlin. To the shift, Haas and McLaughlin. You won't catch in that you would back. That one gets past Coffer, and Arkansas adds another. Mm. Strike three. Mm. Swing and a miss. K number eight for McIntyre. It was a four-pitch walk to Targach. What an effort after piggybacking off a nice start by Brady Taggart. And he gives way to Christian Fouch, freshman from Littleton, Colorado. 6'3", 220. And this ball is smoked deep left field. It is gone. Two-run shot for Thompson. It's the second home run allowed this season by Fouch, and that was a no-doubter. Don't answer that. Back to Gage back. Wood delivers and hit him with a breaking ball. The bases are loaded. Batesville, Arkansas native, 1-0 and with a 3.57 ERA. 26 Ks in 17 and 2 thirds inning. Here's the 0-2. Got him again. And the Aggies leave the bases loaded in the seventh. Crop should be fine. And this ball's lasered to left field. How hard do you think he hit that one? Run scored. And this ball's launched to right field. It's in a hurry, and it is gone. First home run for McLaughlin. It's a two-run shot. See on SEC Friday night, he does this. Mm, a fastball out over the plate, and that is a pure stroke to the back of the baseball, a rocket over the right field wall. 104 miles an hour off the bat, just. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Mm. What do you do as a coach when you get relieved? He's better or worse than the average. Mm. Strike three called. It looked like a pretty good breaking ball. An awesome boast. Not happy. Back to back. Hot shot. And Gage Wood retires the side. And let it gear. I kind of got <laughs> what I need. Lead off walk to Roland. He sits. Their baseman in. Bolton pushes it to the first base side. And Stewart shuffles it over. They're building because they're great teams. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a combination of both. Just over the pitcher's head, charging the shortstop. And he threw it away. Haas's fourth error of the season. It'll be an extra base for Diggs. As Rowland scores from second.
batting practice, the whole the whole deal, right? Not to mention your oh. routine. Oh, my goodness. Caught him on the inside of the thigh. Around third is Diggs. He's going to score to make it a 10-4 game. And they nearly had to push back the tip time of the game. Strike three called on Targach. The arm talent certainly better out of the pin. Mm. Fastball tipped in a Rollins glove. Oh, man. Jack Moss fights this one the opposite way. Aggies still have life. Thompson will stop at third. And the bases are loaded for AM. Breaking ball to third, and a race to the bag will end it. And Arkansas takes the series. They came in on a four-game losing streak. They've taken the first two from AM. And they'll go for the sweep tomorrow. still to be determined, but uh, fireworks belong to Arkansas tonight. Ten runs on 11 hits.